What gives a property its value? What makes it so special? Location, 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 and that couldn't be any more true for this property located right here in the heart of Detroit Shore Way. Today we have a home tour on the west side of Cleveland in a very progressive area, just minutes from downtown Cleveland. With me today, I got Chris. What's up? Good to see you. The listing agent for this property, he's gonna tell you a little bit more about this area and why you should move to this area. So Alex, thanks for having me. We're at West 76th Street on the west side. We've got Edgewater Park just a couple blocks this way, but even better, down at the end of the street is a tunnel that'll take you to the Metro Parks paths, which will take you far east, far west, and also to Edgewater Beach and State Park. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the street is also, you've got a coffee shop, terrestrial brewing, a great restaurant, All Saints, awesome cocktails, nice menu. <laughs> Not too far, Gordon Square, 65th, Pizza, Stone Mad, Il Rion. There's just so much that is so close by, it's awesome. Yeah, no, it's tough to find like a good center location just outside of downtown. You know what, that huge busy lifestyle of like downtown living, as you can tell, this is nice and quiet, but what, just a few minutes away from everything. Totally. Cool, man. Well, hey, let's check out the inside of the house. Before we head inside, absolutely love the exterior here, all black. Love the warmth of the lights on the house here. This is truly like gives it that wow curb appeal. Makes a statement for sure. Yeah, it really yeah. does. All right, let's go inside and check it out. Come on in. All righty. It's a great space, it's wide open. This was completely gutted. Um, it's gonna qualify for the 15 year tax abatement, which could end up being about $15,000 per year for the next owners over the next 15 years. It's light and bright and open. It's got some nice dark finishes, kind of a nod to the exterior, as you can see, and it just has a great contemporary feel with really crisp lines. Yeah, absolutely. You got the same floor running throughout, light, nice and bright with the white colored walls. You see everything kind of gray, makes it real bright and open, but still makes this like a focal point in the kitchen with these dark cabinets. It flows right into the living room. Love the fixture here, staying true to the black, modern, contemporary feel that we have. And this is really a great space for entertaining. You could probably, what, fit six people right here on the, on the bar stools at the Easily, counter? Easily, five to six right here. Hang out everyone at the kitchen. Yeah, it's a great place for entertaining if you like to host uh, a party for the games or you know even have a Thanksgiving with the family over. This is truly a great space for entertaining. Continue with the kitchen, it just keeps flowing with the house. Love the separate counter space that they have here with the open shelving. This is a great space for laying out food for the parties. Really, who doesn't want more counter space, am I right? It's not we're gonna hurt, right? Another thing is that the floor plan is really versatile. I mean, whether you put a dining table here or in the front, you've got all sorts of areas to put lounge seating, couches, um, you know, so it's gonna meet a lot of people's needs as far as their furniture placement goes, based on their lifestyle. Absolutely. All right, flowing right to the back of the house. You got a little lounge area. This could be a little den. You got some pitch ceilings here, so it gives it that extra height. But honestly, what would you use this space this is like for? The, this is like the urban three season room, but it's four season. No, it's got a lot of opportunities yeah, yeah. here. I can see where people are gonna hang out here, maybe put your TV, mm -hmm. you know, almost like a family room sort of setup, but it connects to the outside. So if you're entertaining inside, outside, this is the perfect segue between, you know, both of those, so. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. Well, hey, this is a good lounge area. I got a special treat I wanna show you. A super unique thing that you never see in these remodeled homes. Check this out, it's in the half bathroom over here. You'll never see me get this close to a toilet again, but check out how cool this floor is. This is such a unique feature of the house. Put your guess in the comments below how many pennies are on this floor right here in the half bath. On the second floor, we're in the main bathroom, black doors, black fixtures around here, but they still have the vanity and the tub surround completely white, so it makes it really nice and clean here, but you still get those dark modern features. And then you've got the two spare bedrooms off the hall as well. They're uh, uh, standard size, but the real excitement happens when we get to the hotel style suite here. But before we do that, let's check out the third floor. The third floor was finished to give extra square footage. It could be a fourth bedroom or any sort of flexible space but it really gives a lot of extra room for whatever someone needs it for. 
Now to the best part of the home, in my opinion, the primary bedroom here. This is an oasis. You walk right through your closet, which leads into your primary bedroom. Look, you got 20 feet ceilings in here with the raindrop chandelier. This is truly a dramatic bedroom. Right off your closet in your primary bedroom, you have this gorgeous bathroom, dual sink vanity, leads right into this huge shower. Look at this, so much room for activities. You could probably fit around 15 people in the shower. If you wanna do that, that's up to you. I'm not judging, but you have the room for it. Right outside the bathroom, in the closet, if you're ever thirsty, you don't have to go downstairs. Check You've got out. a beverage center right here in your own <laughs> master suite, primary suite. Whether it's a cup of coffee you make in the morning, grabbing a water or a barley pop later on, and then head on outside to your own private balcony. Yeah, so this is your private upper deck off the primary suite, and that will wrap up the home tour. I hope everyone liked it. Come on by, check it out, buy it. <laughs> All right, guys, and if you're, make, if you're looking to move out to Cleveland, make sure you shoot me a text, phone call, or email, because no matter how you want to get a hold of me, I got your back. We're moving to the area. Appreciate you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.